Hi everyone, my name is Hallie Martinez. I am a founding lead executive. Um, I was asked by a few of my jam sisters to make a video um, about my Jamberry journey. So here it goes. Hopefully my son does not get home um, in the next 10 minutes. So um, I live in Ocean City, New Jersey, um, near Atlantic City on the beach. I have one son, Maxwell, he's two and a half, and um, I've been married to my husband, Teody, for five, a little over five years. Um, I joined Jamberry in October of 2013 after I was invited to a Facebook party. Um, my sponsor is Rachel Bufano, and I did not know her before I joined. Um, and now we are great friends, which is one of the reasons why I love Jamberry. It has brought me so many new friends. Um, when I joined, I told Rachel I was not interested in um, being a consultant. I just wanted to be a hobbyist because I just wanted to have a discount. And that obviously quickly changed. Um, I realized a few weeks after I got my kit um, that I needed to take advantage of this opportunity. There weren't many consultants in my area and all of my friends were going crazy for the jams. So I started to um, look at the consultant side of it and study the compensation plan and kind of just took it as it came. Um, I signed up in October so sales weren't too bad for me because of Christmas shopping time, um, but I did have a hard time with recruiting. I did not get my first recruit until about a month and a half into um, signing up and it took me um, a while to kind of get the hang of things. I had a lot of trial and error in the beginning um, and that's kind of just what has got me to where I am now. I've tried different things, um, I haven't given up and I've stayed consistent. So I um, hit team manager in February um, of last year and I had a pretty strict goal of hitting um, executive by the end of May, which was the deadline to be in the Founders Club. Um, I was able to hit it in April, which I was so excited about, and I hit Founders, and um, and I am now a lead executive as of January, well, I hit lead in November of 2014. So um, for me, my journey has been up and down like many of you yours has been um again a lot of trial and error but i find that the um key to what has brought me success is always staying genuine and sharing my excitement passion and um just love for this company whether it has been fi a financial accomplishment or a personal accomplishment um, whatever it is, I have always shared that. I've shared the excitement with everybody publicly. I've posted it on Facebook and I've just always, um, you know, just shared how awesome this opportunity is. And people seem to be interested in that um, when they see that it's working for me. And you can share your accomplishments and um, achievements at any level. It can be at a consultant level all the way up to an elite executive level. It doesn't matter what rank you are, you have something to celebrate. And <clears throat> when you're celebrating something, somebody wants to know, um, you know, what's making you so happy and they become intrigued. So, you know, it could be something about a financial thing, you know, you're so excited about getting a bonus or you're so excited you had a rocking party um, and what you were able to pay for with your Jamberry card, take pictures of all of that and post it. People want to know that it's working for you, not for your upline or the people above you. They want to know it's working for you. Um, so it could also be something just personal. You know, you're excited about being able to go out with um, your girls or meet new women in your area by hosting Jamberry parties. Um, you're meeting all of these new people in your area and that could be really important for you. Um, it could just be your self-confidence. You just feel so much more confident and happier since being in this circle of jam sisters and being a leader or an up-and-coming leader or just being a consultant. Um, 
whatever it is that is affecting you in a positive way, um, share it and share that you're passionate about this company. Um, whenever I do that, I get something out of it. I usually get private messages um, of people just interested. Tell me, tell me more. I want to know more about what you're doing. And um, a lot of them don't ever end up signing up, but a lot of them do. And you kind of just have to um, keep the consistency, keep the excitement going, and eventually people catch on and they want some of that um, juice you're sipping on. Another thing that has always been tough for me, um, and I know you've all heard it before from other people, but getting out of your comfort zone is huge in the direct sales business. We don't want to be salesy. We don't want to be the people that um, we think, you know, our friends are going to run and hide from the crazy Jamberry lady. But we don't have to be that person, but we still have to be, um, we have to sell. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're selling. So you need to um, get out of your comfort zone and ask those people that have been on your mind, um, write your Frank's list and start checking them off. Get those hundred no's um, because in those no's are the yeses. And I know everybody's heard this before, but it's true. You have to get out of your comfort zone. And I'm preaching to myself because I am that type of person. I don't like to get out of my comfort zone, but I'm not going to continue to succeed or maintain this business that I've worked so hard to get without getting out of my comfort zone. So, um, you know, this opportunity is a amazing opportunity so if it takes me getting out of my comfort zone sometimes then that's what I'm gonna do um, what else can I tell you um, I don't know just you know stay genuine stay consistent um, put in what you want to get out um, some people sign up and they think, you know, just sign up as a consultant and post on their Facebook page, hey, I'm a Jamberry consultant, um, book a party, that that's all you need to do. And it's, unfortunately, I wish it was that way, but it's not. So if you want a successful business, you need to set your office hours, you need to set a plan, set your goals, and make a plan of action. Um, because without a plan and a plan of action, behind it, then nothing's going to happen. Um, having an at-home business can sometimes be difficult because we have that freedom to kind of just do what we want when we want, and that's really great, and I'm so thankful for that side of it, but sometimes it makes it difficult because life gets in the way, and it's so easy to just put Jamberry on the back burner because you can. Um, but it all comes down to what you want and your goals and your, um, you know, you got to keep your eye on the prize. So I hope that encourages you some. Um, and I am always here if you need to um, talk, ask questions, whatever. It doesn't matter if you're in my upline, my downline, or my sidelines. I'm here for you. Um, and I just hope you guys all have rocking businesses and I love y'all.